morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Cinnamon Stitches. I'm your yarn host, Jennifer. Today, we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to make this lovely little do-rag. I had a lot of, and I mean a lot of requests to show how to do this, and so I'm just going to show you. This is such an easy pattern. If you can make a granny shawl, you can make this and in about a quarter of the time. <laughs> this is just a granny shawl. This one is not the one, exact one we're going to make today because I did do some different stitches in here today. We are just going to do the basic granny shawl pattern for this. And as you can see, this is just a triangle. I made the granny shawl big enough to wrap around my head. And when it fit around my head, I attached it. And then I did a row of single crochet around the border to make sure that this was secure. And that's all there is to this. So... To get started, you just need your favorite hook and your favorite cotton yarn. I suggest cotton. You could, of course, use other blends, but cotton is more breathable, and we're not making a hat, so we don't need it to be warm. We just need it to be in our hair. So I have my Premier Home Cotton. This is just their basic home cotton. It's in the color Flamingo. Flamenco Spray. Actually, different language. Flamingo Splash or Flamenco Spray. Depends on what language you're speaking. <laughs> Alright, so it's pink. That's what we're doing today. And I, now I have a tangle, of course. I mean, why wouldn't I have a tangle? And I can't find my end. Where is my end? And I apologize if you guys hear background noises during this. I try to get the house as silent as possible, but my five-year-old is being difficult today, so he is trying his best to test my patience. <laughs> so we're just going to start with a slip knot and then we are going to chain three. One, two, and three. And in that very first, right next to the knot, that very first chain, we are going to put two double crochets. And this is going to be our first granny block. Because granny stitches is basically three double crochets together. And then we're going to chain two. And in that very same chain, we are going to put three double crochets. One, two, and three. And then this is what it would look like. Let me move the camera in a little bit so you can see. That's what it looks like. So it's a granny block. You got a granny block, chain two, granny block. Okay. All right. So we are going to, from this point, chain three. One, two, and three. Let's see if moving the camera in closer helps you guys at all. Now hopefully I can stay on frame because that's what I struggle with. Because <laughs> apparently I move my hands a lot. All right, so in this, in the top of that chain, well, it's not a chain, in the top of that double crochet where we just chained three out of, we are going to put two more double crochets. Chain, oops, chain one. We're going to skip these two double crochets and in this chain two space, we are going to put three double crochets. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to chain two. One, two, and put three more double crochets. One, and two, and three. Chain one, and in that very first chain three space that we created, we are going to put three double crochets. One, two, and three. And then we are going to chain 
three. Now every row is going to be exactly the same. You are going to start in this very first stitch and you are going to put three, well, you're going to do a chain three, two double crochets, chain one, and then in this hole, you're going to put three double crochets, then you're going to chain one, and then you're going to get to the middle, and this will always be three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, okay? And then you'll chain one after that, and then in this hole, you'll put three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets in this very first chain three space, okay? And you will continue that until it fits around your head. But don't worry, I'm gonna stick with you for a couple more rows. So, put two double crochets where our chain three came out of. Chain one, go to this hole right here. So we skip this block and we go into the hole and do three double crochets. One, and two, and three, and chain one. See, then we skip this block, but now we're in the center where that chain two space is, and we are gonna put, you got it, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. So that's two and three, and then we're gonna chain two, one, two, Three more double crochet. Chain one. We're gonna go over here into this hole. Chain and do three double crochets. Chain one. And then we're back to that very first chain three space. And in the top of that chain three space, we are going to put three double crochet. Oh, see, I put it in the wrong spot. Put it in the wrong spot. <laughs> I missed my hole. There we go. One and two and three. Okay, this is what it should look like. You pull some more yarn out. This is what it should look like. This is row one with the first two, and then row two, and then this is row three. Now, since we're starting the row again, we are going to chain one, two, three, turn our work. And in that very same spot, two double crochets chain one go into the hole three double crochets two and three chain one skip this block go into the hole three double crochets Three doubles, three doubles, three double crochet. Chain one. Now we're back to that peak again. See where we have the two blocks and the chain two? And what does that mean? That means we need to make two blocks and a chain two. So, in that hole at the top. Oh, I keep missing my yarn. Missed it again. <laughs> oh, only I could do this poorly in a tutorial. All right, chain three, not chain three. Three double crochet, three double crochet. So that was two, three, one, two, and three more double crochets in that same spot. One, two, three, chain one. Then we're gonna go to this hole. And I noticed I'm like way off center so, three more double crochets in the hole. Chain one, skip the block, go into the hole. You guys got this by now, I know you do. 
one, two, three. I'm going to do one more row, and then we're going to fast forward to where it's big enough to fit my head. So, top of the chain three, put three more double crochets. This is how you build a basic granny triangle. You make it as big as you want. You make it as small as you want. One, two, three, chain three. So, that's how you build your basic granny triangle. You always increase here by putting a granny block in that very first chain three space. And then you continue to put a granny block in each chain space, the, the, the hole. Then when you get to the tip here, the point, always increase by doing a granny block. So three double crochet, a chain two, and three double crochet. Chain one, go back down this side the same way as you started. Make sure you increase on this side with your granny block in the very first stitch. Chain three and turn every single row until it's as big as you want it. So this will be the last row I'll show you and then we'll fast forward. So we put three double crochet in that very first space, chain one, go into the next hole, do three more double crochet. I really like this color. I haven't worked with this color cotton before. I really like it. It's like appealing to my eye right now. Chain one, go to the next hole, do another granny block. That's what we're calling them. It's a granny block. The unofficial name, but that's what we're calling it. Chain one, go into that next hole, put another granny block, put a granny block in the granny space. Three double crochet, chain one, and then we're back to the point. So that means two blocks and two chains. So one, two, three double crochet. Chain two, three double crochet. Chain one, go to the next hole and put a granny block. So three double crochet. Whoop. Now, I fully expect you guys, if you're going to make these, that was a chain one, we're going to the next hole. If you're going to make these, I want to see them. I want you to tag me on Instagram, post them in my Facebook group. I want you to tag me wherever you can. I want you to make your do-rags and wear them and show them off. It's going to be the Cinnamon Stitches do-rag. I know it seems like all my tutorials or all my patterns have my name in it. And I don't even pick the names. It's you guys that I've been letting pick the names for these. All right, now we're back to that chain three space from the beginning. The jammer hook in the hole. One, two, and three. Another thing I like about this yarn is it's like a gradient. So it starts off like really dark and then it gets lighter and then gradually it will be like this lighter light. Isn't that cool? I just like that. All right, I'm gonna continue making my do-rag until it fits my head and I will check back in with you and show you how to join it. Just keep crocheting until these two points can meet and be kinda snug on your head. Not tight, but snug because there's a little bit of give and it will stretch out and you don't want it to be too big. So you want it to be, you know, form fitting on your head. So keep going. I think this one had a little bit too many rows. So let's see how many rows I did for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 rows. So 10 rows might work for some of you because I have a really big head. And uh, check it at 10 rows and see if it fits your head. Okay, I will meet you guys probably on 12 or 13 because like I said, I have a really big head. <laughs> All right, guys. Okay, we're back. So I ended up making more than 12 rows 
because I didn't take into account that that yarn was thicker and I was probably using a bigger hook. But I wanted to show you guys how to count your rows with this. There's two ways you can count it. You can count it down the center or you can count it up the side. Okay, so all you gotta do is count your squares. Well, this side, not this side, that'd be silly. Okay, so we're gonna count it down the middle first. Every time you have a hole here, that's a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm at row 14. And the way you count it here is you just count the blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. How did I get 15? Okay, so there's 14 or 15 rows. <laughs> I measured it. It touches exactly. And that is the size of my head. So what we're gonna do is we are at the end of 14 rows for me, but it will probably differ for you because you guys don't all have big heads like I do. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna chain one. Okay, these are our two corners. So this would be the part that goes over your arms if it was the shawl, okay? This is the bottom peak. We're going to bring these together and we're gonna find the top of this chain three space here and just in anywhere, it doesn't really matter. We're going to slip stitch. We're going to chain one. So we chained one and we're going to look along this edge. Each one of these blocks is a double crochet. So what we are going to do in each of these blocks and that double crochet, we are gonna put two single crochets. A single crochet there and a single crochet there. Go to the next block and we'll put two single crochets. Go to the next block here, put two single crochets. Now this is where it can get a little tricky because if you put too few single crochets, it will be really tight on your head right there. So you don't wanna to put too few. And if you put too many, it will just get like wavy and wonky. So you wanna make sure that you really pay attention to how many single crochets you put in here. And if you get through here and it's still too tight, I apologize for the background noise. My dogs are in there eating and they're being extra loud. <sighs> so two single crochets in each one. You just want it to be even. You don't want it to pull. You don't want it to be too tight to where it's pulling this way. And you don't want it to be too loose to where it's causing waves. And if you need to throw an extra single crochet in there every once in a while, do it. It's not a big deal. There is no perfect number for this. You just want it to fit your head, fit your head good, and not be funky. So just put single crochets across. Across. Don't do it too tight either, because, again, if you do tight single crochets, it will cause it to pull. This is all we're gonna do all the way around is just single crochets all the way around. You guys will get the hang of it and the feel of it. I always had a hard time. I struggled with this when I was, that's a funky stitch. We're gonna go over the top of that. Um, when I was first learning, I had a hard time determining what was a hole, what was, where a stitch was supposed to go and, and all that. Just, just if you have a hard time with it, just take your time, feel it out, put your stitches where they you feel they need to go. Now if you see somewhere here, I hit the middle, and so then now we're going this way. So now the, the stitches are facing this way, as opposed to these ones on this side are facing this way. So then you'll have to get used to that. And, oh, that feels weird, and you know, no big deal. No big deal. And I probably should show you. This is all the yarn I have left from the full skein of the Premier Home Cotton. So it will be exactly enough when we're done. 
And this is a fun little quick project. And you can make this in smaller sizes for your, your little kids or your grandkids. I think this will be so cute on a little girl. Shoot, I think it's cute on me. <laughs> Especially now that my hair's shorter. I find I need to have my hair pulled back more often. So I, I bought some headbands, but I really like, um, I bought some handkerchiefs or some, some, uh, what are those called? I just call them do-rags at, um, Hobby Lobby the other day. And I put those in my hair to keep my hair back out of my face when I'm like cooking or eating or crocheting, especially because you guys know you'll be crocheting along and then all of a sudden you got hair wound up in your yarn and now... Whoever's getting that project, they're getting your hair along with it. <laughs> so I use stuff like this to just keep my hair out of my face. Oh, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're just single crocheting along. It's the last one. My last double crochet. I'm going to throw an extra one in here just for the heck of it. And then we're just going to attach it to that first set of single crochets with a slip stitch. And of course, I don't have my scissors in here, so I will pause one second and grab those. All right, got my scissors. We'll just clip it. Tie it off. Weave that in. And you have a very simple, fairly quick little triangle do rag. I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what it looks like on my head. So hang on one second. What do you think? Fun to make, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is what, let me adjust down a little bit. This is all I had left from that entire skein. You may have a little bit more if you have a smaller head. <laughs> I got a big head, but that's not really enough to do anything with, but that, that might make the center for like a little face scrubby. So I'm still going to keep it on the side, but what do you think? There you go. Um, I wanted to thank anyone who asked for this tutorial because it was fun to show you guys how to make it. And I hope you enjoy it and I hope you make it. And don't forget, if you make this, take a picture and tag me in it. Show me on Instagram. Show me on my Facebook group. Anywhere. Just tag me. Let me know. I want to see your guys' do-rags. Cute little point in the back. See how the yarn does like that cool, like, it fades in and out of dark color. I just, I really like that. So, my hair's out of my face. So, I'm not getting hair in my food. I'm not getting hair in my, my crochet projects. All right. The next tutorial is going to come up on Friday. I'm going to show you guys how to make a hairnet or a scoop, a snood, snood. I have the hardest time with that word. That's not something that we use. We don't use the word snood. It's just a hairnet. So come back Friday. You get another tutorial with yours truly. And uh, go make yourself something cute to wear in your hair. I want to see. Bye, guys.